Mercedes-Benz fantasy cars. In my estimation, a Mercedes-Benz fantasy car is a Mercedes that should have existed, that never quite existed, or maybe was prototyped, but never got past the drawing board or the prototype stage. So we're going to talk about some of these cars and how one could possibly build one today. Um, the first Mercedes-Benz fantasy car that I think a lot of you might think of would be the 280SL 3.5. Bob Hatch of Hatch and Sons with his shop foreman Jeff Cody and his sons uh, actually did build two of these cars. One was a stick shift and one was an automatic and they both used the 116 3.5 uh, liter engine from a 280SE 3.5 coupe and the uh, same automatic transmission and the combination does work. In fact, you can build, you can install an M117 engine in a Pagoda SL just because of the subframe usage crossover with the 280SE 4.5, which was also a 117 power plant. It's a shame that Mercedes didn't build these cars, but there are more that have been on my mind as well. How about a 114 coupe with a 3.5 or even 4.5 liter engine? After 1971, the U.S. offerings for these cars became so anemic because of emissions controls that a V8 would have really spiced things up in this model line. And it can be done, and I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to it if it were done right. So uh, imagine a 280C with a 4.5 liter engine or even a 5 liter European aluminum V8. This sort of combination would be magical and no doubt highly collectible in today's day and age. Even with 180 horsepower from a low compression 4.5 liter engine, a 280 CE 4.5 would have been a real rocket ship. Another mythical car that I wish existed was the 300 SE 6.3 coupe. When Mercedes first developed the 6.3, they actually developed it out of the 250 SE coupe platform, which Eric Vaxenberger built his first prototype. Later on, AMG offered a 300 SE 6.3 as a conversion, but it would have been great if there was a factory product that had this amazing combination. I'm sure it would have not, the, the coupe body would not have been rigid enough, uh, would, would have been rigid enough, but a cabriolet body probably would not have been. So a 300 SE cabriolet, but a 300 SE 6.3 coupe might not have made complete sense at the time. And that's why I can understand Mercedes upgrading the W109 series cars only. Now, a fourth car that I think would have been a boatload of fun would have been a 500E, but not a 124 series, a 123 series car. Technically, you can build this car with an M117 engine and a 230E or a 280E because all of the wiring is there. The M117 engine, in fact, will bolt right into the 123 chassis. And it is possible, but I wouldn't make one of these out of a diesel. The diesels are just too good. They're too practical and they're too reliable. In other words, the diesel on the opposite end of the spectrum was the other perfect car because it performed so well and had such excellent fuel economy. But still, a 280E 5.0, 280CE 5.0, 230CE 5.0 would have been a wonderful car as well. Another Mercedes fantasy car that I've often dreamed of would be a 230CE, 230E, or 230TE 16 valve. All of these cars used the M102 engine, and that means that a 16 valve Cosworth engine would be a Bolton. In fact, a few years ago, there was a 230CE 16 valve Cosworth engine for sale uh, on, uh, on MBCA.org. This combination with 185 horsepower would have been absolutely magical. Now the 185 horsepower option for the 123 came in the form of the 280E, CE, and TE for the European market, but the M102 16 valve engines were such screamers, they would have no doubt been really amazing and terrific inside the 230 CE. The last Mercedes fantasy car that I wanted to tell all of you about was actually not so much of a uh, not not so much of a hot rod as it was a slower, more genteel vehicle. I always thought that it would have been really nice to see a four-cylinder diesel version or even a five-cylinder diesel version of the W uh, 
of the W108 chassis. The problem at the time was that Mercedes engines were just too small and too underpowered to move this chassis around comfortably. But if Mercedes had pioneered or developed their turbocharging technology earlier, it might have been possible in 1971 or 72 to see a Mercedes 108 with a five-cylinder turbo diesel or a four-cylinder turbo diesel with a three-liter or even 3.5-liter displacement. Now, if you got to the last bonus round and you watch this video all the way through, there's one more amazing Mercedes fantasy car based on the C111 that I've often thought of. And this would have been a Wankel engine Mercedes built from 1972 to 75. Mercedes heavily tested the Wankel engine in the C111 prototype and had eventually allocated it for production. It is very possible that if the Wankel engine had actually been built in series production, it would have made its way into the 111, uh, maybe the 116, 114, 115, 107, and uh, quite possibly even in, in, in a more uh, fully developed form, a C111 road car itself. This would have been ama an amazing vehicle and it would have been wonderful to have a Wankel engine Mercedes. So if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. And if you have your own idea of a Mercedes fantasy car, uh, tag it below in the comments. Some of these cars can be built. And if you want to talk about how to build one of these in the future using all Mercedes parts, we could go that direction as well.